piece by piece, the wreckage of MH17 was reconstructed, and last year investigators announced the passenger jet had been brought down by a Russian-made book missile as it flew over disputed eastern Ukraine on its way from Amsterdam to Malaysia. The next step, to determine where the missile was fired from that killed all 298 passengers and crew. Today, investigators said evidence from witnesses, videos, photos, satellites and intercepted phone calls all pointed to a farmland location held by pro-Russian rebel fighters. And this book, Taylor, was brought in from the territory of the Russian Federation and after launch was subsequently returned to the Russian Federation territory. The team released a map showing the route they claim the launcher took through villages held by pro-Russian forces after the missile was fired. They animated how it was put onto a low loader with only three of its original four missiles left and said that later in the journey this camera picked up the low loader carrying the launcher back towards the Russian border. 28-year-old Liam Sweeney was among those who died on MH17. His father says today's report helps, but it's not a full picture. We don't know why MH17 was targeted. I've got a feeling it was a mistake. The plane was in the wrong place at the wrong time, and but I'd like somebody needs to be accountable. It's a big jigsaw still. I've still got this jigsaw in my head, and I'm just seeing that there's going to be that one little bit that's not going to fit, and that's the end, you know, on why. Russia has again denied that any of its missiles were taken into Ukraine and called the report politically motivated. Investigators say they know the missile, they now know the launch site, and that the next challenge is finding out who gave the order to fire. Peter Lane, 5 News.